Good evening, welcome. You did it. Video blog number about 10. My video blog number 20. Yeah, 20. This is where I spill the beans. So, I'm a 41 year old waiter. I've been in the food service industry pretty much since I was 14, so that's 27 years. I guess that'd be backwards to you guys, so 20, yeah, anyways, 27 years. When I started in the industry as a busboy at Primo's, which I swear to God is actually about two blocks from where I work now. I didn't even think of that, but that just got even funnier. And uh, uh, when I started, my wage was three thirty-five an hour as a busboy, three dollars and thirty-five cents. Over twenty-four years and a number of different positions in the industry, general manager, yada yada yada. I am now two blocks away from the very first place that I ever worked and I'm making eight dollars and eighty five cents an hour <laughs> yeah you do the math that's four dollars and fifty cents five dollars and fifty cents pardon me in twenty seven years not a good pay hike <laughs> so um, I found myself again once again as I always do at the end of the month just scrape them by with rent um, just enough to make the minimum payments on my visa and uh, you know just floating by I my addictions are much better these days from uh, cocaine and gambling and being a sex addict and an alcoholic I now have a, an addiction to education I love to read I love to watch movies. I love to do stuff internet based. Anything that I love to take courses. I love to go see speakers. Wayne Dyer is coming. Yeah. So, but it all adds up to the same spot. This one. Where I'm just treading, treading water. Keeping my head above, above the float but not getting anywhere so the thing is I realize that I give too much because I do make pretty decent money for um, I love what I do I've always loved serving uh, it's it's a joy something that I've uh, learned over the years about people over my 27 years is that they know what they're going to tip before they sit down. Does that resonate with you? Yeah. And you, as a server, can earn that. That tip that they're going to give. All you have to do is make sure everything goes good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Good. And you'll get that. But... If anything goes wrong, it has the propensity to go down, down, down. But I've also learned, <coughs> excuse me, as a server, that uh, I generally make my own mistakes. And for the most part, people are forgiving. Um, now I'm at a juncture in my life where I really believe the monetary system will not be with us forever for much longer I don't think it'll make it past 2012 so I've even got courses here on how to make money on the internet and it would be doing things that I love doing um, promoting products and people that I've um, embraced um, tried to embody and uh, get the message out about conscious our conscious creation of our lives 
and uh, I see even even now that I'm in the best shape of my life at 41 doing a regular yoga practice meditating <laughs> And, you know, I eat organic. I'm a raw foodist for the most part out of my house. At work, I eat french fries. I eat soup. But for the most part, I bring food with me. And I'm good on every level. I uh, have two foster kids. Um, I donate regularly to two other organizations. And uh, I donate monthly to my church plus I'm taking classes and I'm paying off education um, that I took prior to getting into this the science of mind as I'm being taught to me by Reverend Carol Carnes at the Center for Spiritual Living here in Calgary so I have accumulated debt that I deal with um, plus I came off a bankruptcy after my divorce so that's all that's all good and done that was up a couple years ago and my credits coming back but that again is a bit of a struggle and uh, I drive a fantastic 1998 Neon well, uh, that's blue suede who I love to death but uh, tends to have hiccups at times that are inconvenient you know what I'm saying so how do you get out of this how do you get out of this treading just treading because it it kind of it's it stifles my creativity because and I find it's all over the place right as soon as I get to this place then I start looking at my food and instead of seeing abundance in my fridge, which there is, I start to think, oh my God, I'm low on this. And then I become, instead of a creator, I become a consumer. And then I, I, I sit and I eat late night. I eat a lot, um, all good stuff, but I eat way too much of it. And even at work, I, I, I become a consumer. We're not consumers, we're creators. We've got the whole world in our hands. We got the whole wide world in our hands. We got the whole wide world in our hands. We got the whole world in our hands. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So live your life. Do what it is that you need to do. I'm making a movie. That's how I'm going to get me out of poverty. Some way, somehow something something's gonna give because I'm uh, I do a lot of good things for a lot of people and uh, I love it it's my gift it's my gift to be the God presence that I'm supposed to be and that's my gift to you uh, if you have any questions please leave them below and uh, yeah I'm just here to help and I've realized that and I'm, I've accepted that and I do want to get a bigger message but it's not for my gain it's for all we're here together every one of us this is a big earth hug good exercise look in the mirror every day for 10 minutes and see yourself See yourself the beautiful, wonderful creation of God that you are. Tell yourself how much you love yourself because it's the truth. And when you believe it, you mirror that because you realize that however you look at yourself in that mirror is how everybody else sees you. That's it for today. All my love. Namaste.